And just finally, uh, we had the absurdity at the Australian Open where Russian players weren't allowed to have flags around. We've had scenarios where Russian athletes aren't allowed to go anywhere near the court. Well, guess what Wimbledon's going to do? No ban. It doesn't matter if you're Russian or not. You'll be able to play and you'll be able to be called a Russian. Yeah, very interesting. Um, I actually read the article. It says that they can participate as long as none of the funding is from Russia to get them there. <laughs> so, so, and I believe they're under a different flag. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's... I'm not going to be different to a local Russian here in Australia if I meet them. Uh, I'm not going to treat them any differently. I treat them as a human being. Uh, I think this is all gone a little bit a little bit crazy. I mean, my family migrating from Yugoslavia, Croatia, Serbia, war, very, very similar kind of thing going on with the, the Ukraine and um, and Russia there. And uh, there's two sides to every war. Now, we, we are obviously told that the Ukraine are the ones copping it mostly and mm. tend to believe that if you if you're researching a lot of it for yourself. But at the same time, there's no I don't think there's any victors in, in these kinds of wars. And there's there's always disgusting things that happen on both sides. But to to take this to sport and what Wimbledon did in the first place, I strongly disagree with.